Anyway, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cork in the North. Ladies and gentlemen, big thanks to everyone that's liking, sharing and subscribing. Our numbers are up. We are starting to slowly make some movement in the podcast game in this most oversaturated white male industry that we are in. And it's quite toxic if yeah. you read the recent yep. news events. Yep, yep, uh, yep. Before we begin, a big thank you to everybody uh, who has signed up to the Patreon as well. We do appreciate your love and continued support, as you would say, if you're working in the corporate world. Yep. Uh, it does not go unnoticed. More of you fucking do it. Oh, whoa. That's okay? not the corporate world, Andrew. Because we need money. Yeah. We need money. Don't, what do we need, Aaron? I, I've call, I've I have to go to the mechanic tomorrow and spend a lot of money. I have to lend him seven hundred. He has, he has to give me a loan tomorrow. Yeah, he doesn't actually, by the way, because that's how rumors spread. Um, but I will. He did I, something I, for me that cost seven hundred pounds. Yes, I may have recorded a special or two of his. And that, uh, oh, but his, you also did the other things. I also did other things too. Yeah, 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 so. yeah, sucky, sucky. <laughs> there, the, no, I'm always take joking. That, so, that. No, I'm always joking. You're a fucking grown. The man. dispatches will be out soon. Uh, but yes so please do sign up to the Patreon if you want extra content As we one of the episodes we played chess I mean seriously guys you don't get this kind of content anywhere else <laughs> guys name two other world. comedians playing chess you can't come at us okay? and also they, We've can we also say we are launching our Christmas range <laughs> All right. um, of our merch we have sold out of t-shirts we've got the new mugs coming as well we've got lanyards coming we've got beanie hats uh, Amy will be the one releasing all those stuff in the next couple of weeks Exciting. so please do uh, keep in touch with all that kind of stuff producer Sean is trying to figure out something Something. He's, he's getting the lighting right for your hair. No, I was, There's I was nothing wrong with my hair. In case done the light gag. No, no, oh, he was. <laughs> oh, hey, we we need money to keep the lights on. See, Yay. run out of money. The light oh, we gag. got some more money. The light now. gag never fails. Yeah. Any and listeners, you need to watch it. And also as well, uh, tickets will be announced soon for the live Cork and all chat show, American style. We're ripping off the format of Conan and Jimmy Kimmel and all them. We're going to have a live band, but tickets will go and sell first to the Patreon. Another incentive for you to sign up for three pound and one a pound an episode. It's not even the price of a coffee. Okay. And if you you're getting content for free, you're getting this nonsense for free. Nonsense. What are you complaining about? Yep. Anyway, moving on. So this week on the podcast, we have uh, my friend, Mr. Aaron Butler. Always a pleasure to be here. Uh, and my other friend, Lauren Moore. Hi, thanks. Hello, Lauren. Thank you for coming on. Thanks for having me. Very good. Very excited to have you here, Lauren. <laughs> good. Good. Glad to hear. You're there either tired or hungover. No, neither. <laughs> Lauren, Lauren's got that gravelly voice this morning, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Oh, I'm from the east. Bit you're, too you're much like, saying yeah. steps last night. You're like Missy Gray. Now, yeah. you were having a bit of a going away party last night, isn't that right? Yeah. What, where, where are you going to? Where are you going I'm to? Going are you going to, to Lisbon? Where are you going? <laughs> Lisbon. I'm going to the Philippines and then Australia. You go to the Philippines and Australia. Okay. Um. Why? Can yes. I ask why the Philippines first and then Australia? Cheaper is, flights? Is the Philippi- <laughs> oh, when I say, sorry, what I meant by that was, are you doing a stopover in the Philippines and looking about? Or are you just going, is it an indirect flight? No, I'm in the Philippines for three and a half weeks. Okay. Wow, and what are you doing there? It's like exploring and stuff. Just walking around, drinking one pound yeah. beers. and Experiencing the culture. Oh my God, I just want to find who I am. Yeah. That is very... You're going to be one of these people on like a gap year and that's going to be like, you know, since I've went to the Philippines, <laughs> my life and perspective has totally changed. I really support capitalism now. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. the, that's the main goal. Okay, yeah. so so what's going on? Why are you going? Are you having a career break? Why are you leaving us? Why are you leaving us? Why are you leaving this great why you leaving forsaken country? Why are you leaving Northern Ireland? There's this, no government here. This place is great. This crack. island is fantastic. Fantastic. Why would you? Yeah. Why? What? No, what, what, right. what? It seems to be a rite of passage for a lot of people mm. in their twenties to go to that part of the world for a year, two years, six months, three months, whatever it is mm-hmm. that this Australia thing is. That you've never done it. Never. I've been. never done Won't it. Never be. Why has this happened now in your life? What? What's the moment? Why did this come about? I don't know. I think it's just like, do you ever feel like you've just met everyone somewhere <laughs> and you just want to go meet new people? My Tinder profile. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like it's dry I've, now. I've, 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 I've completed it, yeah. <laughs> my, my uh, guys, where, how far do you want to go for love? Brazil. <laughs> go Brazil. <laughs> no, like, just cult, like experience different cultures. Have you ever lived abroad? No. So you've always been here in, in, yeah. in Belfast? Love a holiday or two, like, but yeah. yes. for a week or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So you want to go and, and tell me uh, you're going on your own? No, I'm meeting up with uh, Caitlin. Caitlin, Feminine Foodie, yeah, yes. Yeah, Feminine Foodie. Um, and we're doing it And together, she's out so. there in the Philippines, is she? Meeting her in the Philippines, yeah. She's leaving three... me in Manila for two days on my own. Girls, life, but... three days, yeah. three weeks, the two of you. Mm-hmm. Two Northern Irish girls having a crack in the Philippines. Yeah. Jesus, the, the kids won't know what's going on out oh, there. The Filipino yeah. lads will be loving you. Let's get the BBC and I to get cameras out there and follow you. Stephen Nolan maybe. just follow Stephen me. Stephen Nolan. Someone from the <laughs> West and someone from the East are in the Philippines. What oh, can go wrong yeah. when two communities collide? I had no reason to go to the Philippines, Stephen. 
Just some guy. The uh, the yeah. Gary uh, Glitter loves the Philippines, doesn't he? Oh, Betty does. Oh, that's right. That's where he did all his. That's fucking... where he did all his dodgy shit. Gary Glitter. See, all I've heard is negative things about the Philippines. It's must be beautiful. By someone the way. told me, don't walk around on your own with your backpack on. I believe because that. you'll be sex trafficked. Yeah, I believe and that. And then someone else said, if someone asks you, what? are you on your own? Yeah. Just say no. I was like, well, I'm very evidently standing on my own. Yeah, and I'm a white girl. So I just have to point at someone and be like, nah, I'm with this person. Yeah, I'm with yeah. that local family. Just have a picture of Don't Liam. get in taxis. That's my mare. So not getting <laughs> See that ghost? That's me brother. <laughs> <laughs> just have a picture um, of Liam Neeson on the front and in the back. Yeah. But just go, this is my da. But he, <laughs> here's the thing. Why do people want to go to countries like that? Why do you want to go to a place where you're not feeling safe? I don't know. I tried to explain this the other day, but I was quite drunk, so but it was funny. Like, well, it let's get so you some drinks then, and let's get you explaining um, yeah. it because I need to know. Like, do you ever get that when you live here, everything's the what we know? Like, it's just the I norm, get that. Right? Yes, I get but that. But there's a part of the world where you walk down the street and there's just like a food vendor selling yeah. spiders on a stick. Yeah, and so like, if you were walking down High Street in Belfast eating a spider on a stick, you are on a one-way ticket to Purdysburn. Right. But yeah. I want to walk down the street eating Without a spider being judged. and just have people be like. Could you diving into the culture? This Do you is... want to go and experience other cultures? Yeah. No, she wants to eat spiders on a stick. <laughs> this is this and is not while normal. having a risk of being sex trafficked. Yeah. yeah, that's what's wrong with this generation. That's not, it's not risky yeah. enough. That's fucking. I get fucking. I get a migraine if I go to Lisbon. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, to be fair. I'd, so, I'd rather go to the Philippines and Lisbon. So you doing three weeks in the Philippines? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, having the crack there, going around. Are you into surfing and all? Are you into surfing? And all? Uh, yeah. I mean, I can't do it. Like, but you learn. But you're in I give them a bash up. But you like go snorkeling. It's all. Is it? Yeah. It's all like beautiful Where's beaches there. Did you ever see the film The Beach with Leonardo DiCaprio? No. Got to watch that film. The What's Beach. called The Beach? The Beach with Leonardo DiCaprio came out what mid two thousands. Oh yeah, early two thousands. It was his first film after Titanic. I want to say. And it was a brilliant. He went film. back in the water. He went back to the water. I <laughs> no, know. They found him in the water, and while he was there, it was a sequel. They just, they just made him alive. Like, you know, the first time I watched Titanic with my sister, she was only like five, and she started crying afterwards in her room, and I was like, "Are you okay?" And went in and she was like, I don't understand why that man would do that film if he knew he had to die. <laughs> and she thought Leonardo DiCaprio Whoa, whoa, Caprio I haven't seen it yet. More. Don't tell me the end. Oh, <laughs> Somebody said to me something about ice, but I don't know. I have a feeling the book makes it. <laughs> <laughs> when it was think. re-released in the cinema, I was like, please, this time, just make it. Yeah. 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 Um, I've never seen the Titanic in full. Mm-hmm. So tell me, Lauren, you've gone to Australia. Where in Australia are you going? Sydney. How long are you going there for? So you've got a, what, a no one-year visa? Just open-ended? It's just open-ended. Are you going to get a job or are you just going to float the boat and see Float what? about, jump in and out of bars, I think. Get some... Get jobs in bars? Yeah. Which is going to be what? You, I can guarantee you what you're going to fucking do day one. What? Where's O'Neill's? Where's fucking Waxy O'Connor's? you got to find the Irish You've got to walk like, in. Yeah. It's going to be fellas from Monaghan and GA Tops going, well, how is, are you from home, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah And yeah, you're going to be like, yeah, I'm from Belfast. Like, fucking hell, another one. Do you want to play GEA? No, can't. Yeah. Are we the only country that, like, flock to Australia? Like, are we the main... What, the Brits go as well? Ah, for fuck's sake, I am definitely not going. Ah, the Brits go. I'm and, only joking. And also... We love everybody. Uh, people from, like, Samoa and Fiji and all that. Samoa, all yeah. Islands. Yeah, those um, Samoan people. There's a lot of Chinese in Australia. Yeah. Like, there's so many Brazilians living in, in Ireland now. Like, do you know that there's a massive link between Brazil and Southern Ireland? Or Is there? Or, yes. What's the link? So, so, down south, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I'm right on this one. What what where in the what country for, in the where in the world is Republic of Ireland's biggest minority? Where did it come from? Have a get have it have a think. Biggest minority. The biggest minority group behind Irish people is the majority, obviously. But where what country? You can Google it. There, it's not Jamaica. Right. No, no. Where is the number two place in the world that people come that live in the Republic? Is of Ireland? it Romania? Are you saying Romania? What do you say? I just don't understand this question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you've got Irish people, right? Mm-hmm. What's, Who the next, biggest what's the next biggest nationality that live in Ireland oh, that aren't Polish Irish people? people. Poland, so Romania, okay. Poland. Don't say it. Do you know? But don't say it. I'm going to reveal it. <laughs> don't take this away from him, don't Sean. Don't take this away from me. It's going to be well, Brazil, is it? Well, I'll tell you. It? Yeah. British people. Bri- uh, that's, that there you all. go you didn't expect that did oh, no. you? don't hit the table oh shit sorry fuck's sake so yes 280,000 British people are our second so 280,000 British people are our second biggest minority in the Republic of Ireland oh, that makes sense they all live in happily peacefully and they're accepted <laughs> they all live in life in, in, in Ireland Keep them they're accepted in the life. island yeah I'm just saying yes we don't harm them in yeah. Northern Ireland though I think it's um, either Polish I think or yeah, okay. Well, it's it's Irish, British, Brazilian, right? It's the top three. I think that's the top three, but it's definitely British anyway. Why are all the Brazilians looking at Ireland going? They Let's fucking get love there. us, man. Yeah. But I love the Brazilian. Like, I love the Brazilians. Like. 
Oh, no, no, no. You said right. you love a Brazilian. No, no, no. I love, I love the Brazilians. The Brazilians are great. <laughs> There's those wee fraudy and slip there. I love a Brazilian. What a wax. <laughs> they are the... Uh, My point is... Yeah. The Brazilians love... Why they have, love the There's Brazilian? a special deal, I think, with the Irish government in Brazil deal? for education reasons and certain visas. Mm. So Brazilians... You know the way like an Irish person can go to Australia and then get like a three-year work visa? I think we have a deal, I think... If I could be wrong now on this, maybe Sean, producer Sean, you can check. We have a deal with Brazilian people didn't get a three-year visa for Republic of Ireland. Tell you what, our fucking football team in 20 years is going to oh. be fucking tss, tss, R- R- hanging them in. Rivaldo Murphy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ronaldo Murphy. <laughs> Ronaldo O'Shaughnessy, <laughs> just on the bench there. Grew up in the streets of Rio de Janeiro yeah. and then had to move to a poverty-laden <laughs> Athlone. <laughs> Conor Dino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Conor Dino. Yeah, just all these fucking <laughs> Brazilian-Irish names. It's Emerson Padre. From- <laughs> fucking class. So... Patrick um, Rio. Patrick, Patrick, <laughs> Patrick Rio. Patrick instead Rio. of Patrick Peel. Ronald Actually. Oak. <laughs> Ronald Oak, yeah. And yeah, yeah. um, can I um, ask you, uh, Lauren, when you go to Australia, you're going to Sydney, do you have, like, I'm just curious about doing this now. Are you going, and you don't, this may be a bit too personal, but are you going with a certain amount of money and when that runs out, I come home or am I going and going, well, if I want to stay, I need to work. Could you end up staying for a full year, two years? Are you a... And away from home, you could fall in love with it and end up meeting an Aussie guy or a Samoan guy. Or Samoan Samoan you could guy. Be, meet the next, the and rock. next thing you know, he'll be like, G'day, <laughs> G'day, Lauren. Oh, wow. I've always wanted to live in yeah. the Shankill, Steve Irwin, <laughs> or whatever, wherever they want to, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. what's the plan? You could work in Steve Irwin's zoo, that'd be good. Oh, that would be cool with Robert Irwin, he's a cute guy, he's so cute. Yeah, yeah. uh, I'm selling my car. And that's the money. <laughs> I love that. That's Pay your for the show. That's I'm your selling my car. That's your five year plan. You're, so you're, like, s- you're selling your car. Yeah, it's stressing and everybody out. But it's well, what, what, can I ask? What the, is it? A good? Is it a really high end car? You'll get a lot oh, of money no, for it. Oh no, it's just a wee 2015 Volkswagen Polo. Ah. Right, so that's your spending money. Seat doesn't work. That's your spending money. That's yeah. four hundred pounds. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. I know how much it is. I'm yeah, good. Five get a few k. Get a few k yeah. for it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. basically, you're gonna have five grand in Australia. Yeah, and then my last years. paycheck from work. Okay, okay. And, and so you have five grand. <laughs> so you have five grand. Right. Yeah. Can I ask? You, so is the plan to go there, obviously working and dip into that when you need it? Yeah. But mm. where are you gonna live? Um, we don't have a place to live yet. I love this. I, I love, love that. that. I love. Fucking See, love my I would be freaking the fuck out right now. Going, what am I? How, how would money live? Things. I'd be googling the Radisson. I couldn't. I, yeah. I thought you were about to say the Ra. <laughs> <laughs> the Ra in Sydney, which probably exists. You know what I mean? Good for oh, the there's boys. There's probably a. There's probably a, a, a oh, there's an Aussie division. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. We um, always have the boys. So out. you're just gonna go for crack? Yeah. The plan is no plan. Probably the best plan. Yeah. Is to have no plan. Mm. The best plan is to have no plan. And do you know people out there? Yeah. I know quite a few people, so... And you've been in touch with them and they all know you're Yeah, they're all Are you going to sofa surf for a bit? Yeah, probably. Just find places to sleep and work Mm. it out. Mm. Are you nervous? No. Really? I'm excited, but I'm not nervous. But it's your first time doing something like this, isn't it? Yeah. And what gave you the urge to go, apart from new cultures? Was there something else? I just, like, I was looking at buying a house and then I was like, I don't want to buy a house. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the, whole, the whole being alive thing is difficult at the moment, isn't it? You're like, do you instead of buying a house and getting on the property there and doing the res- responsible thing, let's just blow all this and go to yeah. Australia with no plan at all. I'm actually quite jealous because that's yeah. quite a cool thing to do, isn't it? Like, fair play, I couldn't do it. I think, but I, fair play. I have a lot of respect for people that do that. I, when I moved to England when I was 22, um, like I went over a bit like yourself, like I got mm. a place to live like on the day and I just took a chance yeah. and I stayed in really shit places but it gives you great resilience well yeah and I think you can go away and you can become really you can really become really confident within yourself and mm-hmm. stuff um, was there anything that triggered you going? no job you didn't like a like job family I love my job like yeah. I have a very fortunate job because mm-hmm. you're a very good presenter like yeah. you do the you work for the bikes don't you do the, yeah. the bikes and you do you present the bikes? Yeah. I, present I didn't know. She just goes, here's a bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it presents uh, the channel for uh, Chain Reaction. Oh, mm-hmm. no way. That's Excellent. cool. Massive following you guys have. Yeah, You have it's a really big, big following. Is it TikTok big and all? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The TikToks That's cringe me. They're like, don't go watch them. Oh, no. I, immediately when <laughs> we immediately, finish this, every I am clipping this. every TikTok oh, of yours and stitching it together in my own TikTok account. Just make sure you follow, please. There you go. So, you... You, but you're also a presenter as well, aren't you? Yeah. Because you present uh, Miss NA. Miss Northern Ireland, yeah. Which right, is so, why I know this guy. Yeah, so Me and Lauren know each other. How do you know each other? I used to film What's Miss Northern Ireland. Yeah, no, no, there's no dispatches coming out on me he and Miss NA. He was like a little three in one. He was like, 
I, I choreographed Miss Anna. He, he choreographed it. He videoed it. I filmed it. it. I edited the, the final just... presentation. So did you and book him? Right? Did you book him? Yeah. No, no I, I'll, uh, the, the, the lead lady. No, book him as in book him. <laughs> like book him for that. his job. <laughs> I was like, what? No, like did you book him to do no. the job? No, no, no. Oh, not, 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 <laughs> she did not book me and she did not book me. Let's get that out of the way. It's a solid note. Hey, she fucking guys. wishes. All right. She wishes. She's fucking, I'm only joking. The current no, we're only joking. We're only joking. Yeah. We're the current no, climate no, of comedy. We can't have that. Lauren, we're only joking. No, no, no. So did you uh, contact him to come and do the work? That's what no. I'm booking him. That like. wasn't her job, but someone did in her right. organization. So and then what Lauren would be about. Yeah, it was class. Yeah, and did you enjoy it, Aaron? Yeah, it was one of those. It was a very fascinating sort of fly on the wall experience because you like, I'm pretty much an outsider coming in did and I have to say everyone was very friendly to me and everyone was very warm and very welcoming it was just interesting to see the dynamics of the the competition of it you know because it's very weird to me that you know the girls are all super nice to each other and they're all like at least like look you don't know what happens behind the scenes or what people really think of each other it was always a very strange competition in that you know you're meant to be like a nice person but there is also a competitive element to it like you yeah. want to you want to win you know what I mean you're not doing it because but then you know, so it was always there was always a weird dynamic there. I always thought it would make a, a great BBC NI documentary just for someone to film a, a, a year, not a year of it, but uh, the 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 contest. You know, from... I, I, like we just had the Rose of Tralee. Have you seen the Rose of Tralee? That, that's a fascinating. Is that watered down like this world? Is that just like what is the Rose of Tralee? Like, there's a great <laughs> sketch. There's a great sketch uh, on YouTube about it. Like, um, Paul Dave McSavage does. Right. Um, people come in and go. And they're just taking the pits as country folk, you know, coming out and goes, So we got Gronya and the Hulahan. And Gronya comes out, So tell me, Gronya, uh, what's your part of I'm going to build some furniture. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And he goes, out, I once walked home from a GA match. Oh my God, I love puppies. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. you know, and it was just so fucking daft. Yeah. But Miss NI, like, do you think nowadays something like that, like, is it under a lot more scrutiny because of. Well, they ditched the bikini no, round, didn't yeah. they? Yeah, so they've, like, flipped it. For like, fuck's the reason I love presenting it <laughs> is because, like, there's so many, like, cool young people in Northern Ireland, and, like, yeah. it's not just about them being, like, good looking. Is there still an age limit for Miss Anna? Yeah. So, what is the age limit? Uh, that's a great question. Is it 20? I think it's only 26 or 27. Oh, I think it went. Can you imagine up. being told at 27 you're, you can't enter Miss yeah. Anna? This was, I remember this as well. I remember, because at the time it was definitely younger when I did it, mm -hmm. uh, when I entered Miss Anna. <laughs> when, I, uh, when I was part of it, <laughs> I. Uh, <laughs> no, not like. <laughs> And the current no. climate, Aaron, we someone, cannot be making these comments. Someone just clips that and puts it on Twitter. The, uh, the, <laughs> no, I uh, when I took took part in the Miss Northern Ireland contest, sorry, I'll use my words a bit more. You worked on uh, it. Yeah, 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 worked on it. Um, the age range, I want to say it was like 23, 24, like definitely. Yeah. And I remember, because girls entered multiple years, and I remember one girl in particular, it was like her last year she could mm -hmm. enter, and she didn't win, and she was like... That's, that's fucking. It. That's it. Like and like. Old now. But why? Why? What's the draw for women to be Miss NI? Like we're like, like you know the way like we're comedians, so we want to be, we want to really funny, and we want to work, and we want to blah blah blah. And our yeah. draw is to produce content, and hopefully people like it. Blah blah. blah. It's subjective. Blah blah blah. Like what do they want from it? Like what do you get from it? Like I mean, I don't know because it's never interested me to do it. Yeah. Like so, I don't know what it is that inside of them that makes them mm. want to win it. But like they get some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, is it like the car. Instagram deals and all this kind of stuff? Well, nowadays it's more that, yeah. but like back when, like 2015, when yeah. Aaron was like there, it, they didn't really. You would have got a car, you would have got like some sort of wee brand deals mm -hmm. here and there and things like that. Free holiday. Brilliant. Miss yeah. World. Yeah, you get to go to Miss World and experience Free that. Free photo shoots. You, could, mean, you could probably end up doing it some fashion models, yeah. modeling for like small brands. And yeah. Kind of it's kind of of always a, like a stream of work. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of a CV thing too. Brilliant. To yeah, be like, yeah, it's an experience. Are they still not allowed to have tattoos? I remember that no, being they a big are. thing. Yeah. They, they, they weren't allowed to have tattoos in. at the time. Tattoos are in. Tattoos Just are with in. girls with big Samoan <laughs> face tattoos. Just... Yeah, I used to remember sitting backstage and using like this. You used to have to apply, what cover them up. Like Sally Hansen makeup and just covering all these girls' tattoos. Yeah. It was weird. Like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And were they, were they like stressy? People were distressed to work with like on the day of the shoot sort of do. So I was just very behind the scenes. Like I didn't really yeah. like involve myself with the girls too much. I just wrote the script yeah, yeah, and like yeah. made sure the stage was set up and made sure everyone was where they had to be and like yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. really take part in the rehearsals and stuff like this guy taught them to dance and I, I taught them their dance number for the show. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, really? yeah, 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 yeah. It was fun. Like? Um it was a good it, I have to be honest, like the girls are always in my experience anyway. 
again, I've never been there in the last load of years and who knows what's happened and whatever else. But to me, they were always very nice and very friendly and very warm and welcome and open. And I think the reason is because, you know, there is a bit of a behavioral aspect to the contest where yeah. you do have to show like, you know, you have good decorum and you're good flipping well mannered and, you know, you're a good representative for the country. And if you're being a diva or you're doing this or you're fucking cursing and blah, 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 you know, it's not really a great look for the contest, you know. Um, wow, I didn't really like. I know very little about these type of these. They're interesting fashion. to me mm. though. Is there a Mister Ni? Well, there was. I ran one. Yeah, there was? I was like, right, we need to jump on this. And then the me. guy, <laughs> the guy that is Mister Ni, because I just took a notion to do it one day. Like we did it, and he's now just been Mister Northern Ireland for like five years. So you never oh, replaced so. him. We've never done it again. And then he recently had a child, and he was like, "Oh no, I have a baby. Like I can't be Mister Ni anymore." <laughs> like. <laughs> That's hilarious. And we were like, no, he's like, I have two kids away from Imagine mortgage. if there's never another Mr. N.I. and he's and he, 75. Yeah. <laughs> I've been Mr. N.I. for 57 years. He's there's like, nobody that can be yeah. like, Jamie Doran, go yeah. fuck yourself. He's all like ladies. Yeah. He's just like dancing about and stuff. It's so so there's no, there was, so you did it. And did it, did it, why has it come back, Mr. N.I.? I think. It's not a market like, for this. <laughs> like, uh, Mr. World isn't really a thing. So, yeah. like, the last Mr. World happened when. We ran Mr. and I, and then since wow. then I haven't. I was think it, it a only laugh? happens like, was it just every. Laugh or it people was take it seriously? so funny. Yeah. Like, I had the best time. Like, yeah. and it was nothing to do with the room full of men. It was just they were such good crack. Because the girls dirt. obviously are always amazing, and I love them. But they get really like into it, obviously, and they're worried about their makeup and their hair. Where these dudes were just showing up, like, and I'm like, in, like, that's what you're gonna wear today, mm. like your tracksuit or something. Just like, yeah, I'm pretty fit. <laughs> no, <laughs> I love that. The, uh, the, do you know what always made me like just in human nature? We have moments where we cringe at things, mm -hmm. and I think one of them is when the girls have to do the talent part of the yeah. because they all have to like participate in the talent section of the event. So they have to like either sing, dance. Now, to be fair, some of them genuinely have yeah. like incredible talents, whether it's like an Irish dance thing or whatever. Then some of them would just have to be made to come up with a talent and yeah. just oh, do it. And so they're like, "Yeah, I can sing." <laughs> And then it's just like, it's, it can be. and I feel so bad because, you know, they're, they're, they're conflicted because realistically they don't want to embarrass themselves, but also they want to do what's right for the competition. So they want to be involved and it's a whole yeah. like just position. It's like, oh, do you ever see that one where they do, I think, is it Miss Universe? And they ask the girl the question about Afghanistan. What happens again? And I'm pretty sure I have. So they asked this girl, Miss Universe, the question about Afghanistan. And how do you feel about the war in Afghanistan at the moment? And her answer, I kind of just felt like, why are you asking this person? This uh, like, it, was like they were, like, it was like they were deliberately trying to embarrass the poor girl. Uh, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, and obviously she was just like, I believe education is very important <laughs> because with Iran yeah. and Afghanistan, we need to focus. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it was God something like her. that. And it was just, it got viewed like, you know, a hundred million times. Mm. And that, that poor girl has that video down for the rest of her life. And it's like, five that's just kind of like embarrassing her. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you remember the Miss, Miss Universe where they read out the wrong mm. winner? Oh, so bad. They read out the wrong oh, winner. Yeah. She celebrated yeah. and then She's all like, they're yeah. like, oh, they're sorry, like, actually, it's the other girl. And then Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey was the, yeah, Harvey was the Steve presenter, Harvey. yeah. Oh. But that's, do you know what? Like, like sometimes, I know, I feel sorry for the girl, but for Steve Harley, Harvey, I mean, that's good PR for him. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's you, good, you know, like sometimes things that go wrong are actually quite It's a great TikTok clip yeah. for him, isn't it? It's a great <laughs> sales, sales next show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, have you had big faux pas in Miss and I, like fallouts where girls didn't want to go out or they got embarrassed or they just quit or there was like drama and they come on, give us something? No, I, there actually has. I'm very right and I'm not just like... Northern Irish people not fighting. Come no, on. No, I mean, <laughs> if they did, they kept it very well from us. Like, yeah, did yeah, they? yeah, yeah. So you were working with a modelling agency mm -hmm. and they, how do you recruit someone from Miss NI? They do they local hates, hates, don't they? Which is what I pres do the presenting for. So, they so you would do what, like Miss fucking there was, there was Miss like Spice, yeah, I remember Ms. one year, Spice, who was like, like part of an Indian restaurant that got sponsored by or whatever. There is, that's our trooper flag to the <laughs> we bring him in so we do just for get money for the people yeah. from pa the Patreon um, uh, yeah sign up to the Patreon three pound a month uh, yeah. or there'll be more flies, <laughs> more flies. All, all around me listen to me um, uh, so is there like a Miss Donaga D and then a Miss fucking Bally Ballymena yeah. and then they all come into one or something mm -hmm. Miss and then Rashark. they all go into like as finalists so there's like 24 can you, finalists can you imagine being from a village in Northern Ireland oh, that yeah. has a population of 100 people oh, and yeah. only 6 women 
qualify under the age bracket and you entered and you came last. Oh, that <laughs> you were, are, yeah. You are the shittest woman if, in this Oh, village. no. If you're in the regional heat of like, I don't know, fucking... Log Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uh, Miss fucking art glass. But do you not think that like these competitions can be a little bit sort of dangerous in terms of like pitching women against women where no. they kind of say like oh I'm a better it's, woman than you. Know no. no. But you know it's what I mean? more women supporting women. Is it? Yeah. Like, okay that's good. That's good. I, I, I'm only asking. Other women. I listen. Devil ad, the devil ad, I've, I, the devil Devil's thing. advocate. The devil advocate. He hasn't right? took his pill today. Yeah. Yeah. The, the I'm just curious because yeah. I'm just wanting to see because Sometimes women, with respect, you could be fierce fucking bitchy. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. And men are and bitchy like, as well. I'm but... sure there's been, like... Absolutely. Some yeah. Probably more some when the sabotage. Con- when the contest is over, probably yeah. more so, I would say. Like, like during... I actually hated her, but I was just a bit of a smile on because yeah, I don't yeah, want yeah. them to see that I was not yeah, a nice yeah, yeah. person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It is uh, it is certainly very fascinating. And, uh, yeah, I, I must go to one again. Yeah, I went I this say. year as a guest yeah. and got blocked and had the best time. Because I'm usually backstage. Yeah, like, working out, it's not as fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, so yeah. it was cool watching the show. Me friends. and Andrew will buy a table. Nice. <laughs> just, be, just, be that. just be me and table him. Table of ten. Just in dumb just and dumber you. touches. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just go on. Go on, Sheila. Yeah. yeah. On fair play on to you, girl, yeah. Get it, go for it, love. Oh, no. You can do Tur- it. Oh, she's very good at turning left. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, that's really um, good. So, um, you go in October. Yeah, 28th. 28th. And are you back for Christmas? You're going to be over there for Christmas. Yeah. For Christmas, Christmas Philippines for Halloween. <laughs> yeah, I'm in Philippines for Halloween on my own. That'll be a I've packed my little room. pumpkin pajamas. I'm just going to sit in the house and cry. This, are you going to in a shared room? No, I'm in Don't a room on my own. In Jesus Philippines? Sorry. Yeah. Hotel? No hostel. Oh no. Oh Jesus. no. Oh Lauren no. Lauren, no. Oh boo boo no. no. Oh no boo boo. No no. no Lauren, you can't. No. You can't. You gotta get a hotel. Lauren, no. Why? God. Hotels are further away and I'm told not to walk around on my own, not to get a taxi on my own. So I'm just staying in a hostel. Aye, but is there not, it's, are hostels not more like anyone can sort of come and come go? Like the, the but what if like... there's like five other people like me and then we all walk into a hostel and we're all a bit weird at each other and then we're like Huh? But what if there's You're on your own too, and then buddies. Yes, but what if you get that, and then there's just one Jeffrey Dahmer in among us all? <laughs> the Jeffrey Dahmer of Manila. You know what I mean? Yeah. Steve. Manila, Man- Steve. <laughs> Steve. Steve's the killer. Steve's the killer, yeah. Ah, no, look, you'd be, you'd be grand. Yeah, you'd yeah. be grand. Yeah, you'd be fine. You won't die. Hey, listen, it's all good. go and enjoy yourself. I know, I'm, I'm Have a ball. Day. Send me and him loads of pictures. No? I will. Let us know you're safe. Texas, all Texas. No, you know what'll happen? It'll be like week one, week one of Philippines, and just be you like on a moped, like this. Eating a spider off a stick. Ah, <laughs> yes. And then all of a sudden, it just goes quiet for five days. Oh, no. Yeah. You're like, no! <laughs> Steve got her! <laughs> and then she just goes back, she goes, and next she's joined a hippie commune. <laughs> You're she's in a cult? There, she's yes. like going, hey guys, I'm not coming back. Yeah. yeah. yeah I get see you with cult vibes. Thing. No, thank you. No, you, know what, you, at least, you meet a nice Aussie guy now, and you'll Dwayne. Dwayne. Yeah, Dwayne. Yeah, Did I, Jones. Did I, Lauren? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You'll end up like living in Australia now. You'd be one of these, you know, like, you'll have a new fucking Instagram account. Yeah. How to live in Australia. Yeah. Follow my page mm. for more tips. Yeah. Lauren and Steve, follow our journey. Follow Read our, our journey. story. Yeah. You know I, mean? I became have a zero color. Uh, uh-huh. Have a ranch in the outback. Yeah. 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 So we live off farmland. Outback. Uh, yeah. You know, like, and then all you see in the background is a load of Irish people on a J1 visa or something like that. <laughs> in the back, just fucking whipping them. Yeah. <laughs> Lift yeah. the spuds, you Monaghan bastard. It's like Django <laughs> Unchained, but you. Oh, what a great movie. Yeah, it is a great movie. So, um, uh, you're just going to go with the flow? Going with the flow. Are your family yeah. nervous about you leaving? Yeah. What's That's the there? hardest part, what's, isn't what's it? What's happening there? Have you got like nieces and nephews and stuff? I just have a nephew that's like a month old. Oh, you're leaving him? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Fuck him, it's only a month. Like the kid, <laughs> I know, the kid I can't really do much I'll just miss him during like the little phase where he doesn't do much. You know, mm. he's just goo and gaga. Yeah, and but when he's when he's doing when he's two years old, that's the crack. Like, yeah, so then I'll be back for that hopefully. So you're gonna you're gonna. So you do have plans to come back in a few years. I mean, like yeah, I'll call and my mind you're just gone. I'm forever. back in May for a wedding. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. I have a feeling this. So my brother went to live in South Korea to mm-hmm. teach English as a foreign language, right? Yeesh. Back in two thousand. So in two thousand and two. My brother's mate went over to the football World Cup, oh, and yeah, then yeah. said, "Now nah, staying." <laughs> wow. Nice. Came home. Came home for a bit. Came That's home great. For a bit, got a visa and blah blah. Came out. Still there. That's class, right? Loves it. So he's twenty-two years there. I think he's living in Shanghai. Actually, he's not in South Korea. And what age is he? I think he's like forty-five or something. So he's basically been there half his life. He's got a daughter out there and everything. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. So my brother went out for a year. So I went out to visit my brother for a couple of weeks in Seoul in Korea. And uh, we had a great time, went up to the North Korean border and 
just yeah. the border. You didn't you didn't go in well, to see Kim Young in. Can't go in. You can go in, but you have to do oh, it it's under. It's very strict. It's a very weird process. I went yeah. up to the DMZ to demilitarize on, and I was in South Korea, and it, I'm talking 80, 85 percent culture shock. Yeah. Australia speak English, beers, yeah. food, fine. But when you go Korea, just doing basic stuff yeah. is very very difficult. Like going into the food, you're like, oh fuck, uh, I can't <laughs> eat that. Like you know all this kind of stuff. Uh, but my brother signed a two year contract with school or whatever he did and he came home for one Christmas and he was only home for like 10 days and it's, it's an eight, it's a it's a what a nine hour flight from Amsterdam so and then two hours to Cork so came home had a had just I think he got back into the Irishness again mm. you know the sofa the smell the food mm. the lads the the family atmosphere blah blah went back out to Korea lasted six weeks came back in had to come home no way the coming home bit just shows you was the the killer for it. Mm. he didn't want to leave he didn't want to have that feeling of leaving again yeah Aww. just see what I mean so, you think so I have a feeling home in May and I have like, a feeling you'll be home in May miss you mom. You'll, be home, you. you'll be home in May and you won't come back no I will well I'm already planning you'll get tickets to you get, you'll get tickets August. to vote your own festivals or something. <laughs> the killers we'll go see the killers um, <laughs> just stay another week the, oh your passport's missing poor Lauren uh, yeah, no. the, uh, who are you flying out with what would airline is it Emirates no. No. Qatar. <gasps> as, as, long as, with them, look, with them. as as long as it's not easy, Jet. That's no, all I'm no, saying. No. Oh fuck off! I tell you, this guy had a had a wheel of an experience of easy jet the weekend. Is this so you because you got your flights got cancelled for oh, London or something? Didn't get cancelled. They did go. Oh, they you did. just didn't get on it. I just got off. He was on it. Oh, you got off the plane. Did you throw a Karen on a plane? Yeah. Get off. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. He did. No, I didn't. Did. 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 fucking story, Lauren. I had my aunt was on the plane and sent me a photo of him oh mid huff getting off the plane. Like, so ah. what did they do? <laughs> what did they do that's that bad that you go? I'm going to just like cancel my whole trip and okay. leave this plane. Let me explain. Here he goes. See, see what you've done, Lauren. Now, I woke up in good faith. <laughs> I'm good faith. <laughs> I got out of bed that morning. I don't the wrong do the right. I got out, no. I got on the right side of bed. Right? <laughs> I got out of bed that morning in good faith, in a positive, positive, reflective mood. Right, feeling good, feeling healthy. Been to the gym a few times this week. A lot of things going right for me at the moment. Patreon, sign up. <laughs> yeah. And my flight was at half past two. Now I was going over to London to do four shows, mm-hmm. which I do, as you well know, Aaron. I go over to London every second or third weekend. That's to right. I perform more in England than I do in Ireland. Yes. Okay. And it's a routine that I have, and it's routine that I love doing. Mm-hmm. My flight was at half past two. I checked in online, went to the gym, came home, had my lunch, looked at my flight, said I'd head down to the airport for about half past one, board at two o'clock, flight delayed till half four, two hours delay. For fuck's sake, I'm not on stage till 10 o'clock. You still have to be at the airport though, even though it's yeah. delayed, yes? Mm-hmm. So I'm checking okay. online, I'm doing all this thing. I get to the airport for 20 past two. Still delayed. So I said, it's all right. These things happen. Suck it up. It is life. You take off at half past four. Land mm-hmm. at half past five. I still have time to get to my gig. Half past four. No, four o'clock. We're supposed to board at four. Delayed. Half six. Fuck. Right. Okay. I decide to look at another flight. There's a Heathrow. British Airways. Sold out. There's another flight to Luton. But that's going at like quarter to seven well I might as well get to half six if I'm mm. you know not mm-hmm. spend the money mm. half so half five come along quarter to six delayed to eight o'clock right what how is this delayed to eight o'clock the reason they said there was a delay was because it was air traffic control bullshit <laughs> bullshit there is no way there's an air traffic control restriction for seven, five hours yep it D- doesn't happen okay it just doesn't happen I knew that was a lie okay yeah right but they then let us board at 7 o'clock or 10 to 7. So our plane is now ready to go. We're now going off at 10 to 7. I was like, brilliant. 10 to 7, get on at 10 to 7, take off about 10 past 7, land at about 10 past 8, quarter past 8. 45, 50 minutes in from Gatwick, transfer over from the south terminal, from the north terminal to the south terminal, get the train in, get in there for about, you know, 9-ish, whatever it is, mm. the quarter past 9. You can still make the gig at this I'm point. on stage at 10 mm-hmm. o'clock. We get on the flight at 10 past 7. Everyone's pissed off. Like, there's a fucking, there's an oh, energy. There's I an can energy. imagine there there's would a, be. There's an energy. There would be. A negative energy. Yep. We come on. I'm like, brilliant. Plenty of time. It's now five past seven. I'm like, right, we'll probably take off in 10 minutes. By the time we taxi and all that, pilot comes on. Ladies and gentlemen, I just let you know, we're going to be sitting here for up to 50 minutes because we don't have any air traffic. There is, there is no space to land in Gatwick because it's so busy. We have to wait for a gap that we get a slot. I'm like, you fucking what? You what? They start doing the whole security thing, mm-hmm. right? And I'm like, oh, what are you doing that for? 
we're not going anywhere. Mm. Right. So I'm sitting there going, right, okay. So I'm thinking to myself, right, we leave at 10 to 8. Mm-hmm. Right. We land at fucking 9 o'clock. Yeah, it's getting tight now. No, it's getting mm-hmm. tight now. But you've got to understand it. To get from the flight to the train station in Gatwick, which I'm sure you guys have done, that can take 15 minutes, 10 yeah. minutes. I look on train line to get a train from Gatwick into central London. There's delays on the fucking trains. So not only is the flight delayed, but there's potential train delays as well. I have a duty of care mm-hmm. to the promoter of the comedy club. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I informed them at four o'clock that there was a delay because I have to make a decision. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They, ha- they need time to find a replacement. Now it's London, so there's plenty of comments around. Mm-hmm. Yep. So I'm ringing them from the plane. I goes, hiya, Jack. Yeah, not sure if I can make it. Taking off 10 to 8, gets me at 10 to 9. Probably might not get on a train till about 10 past, quarter past 9. If that's delayed, I'm screwed. He's like, well, you're on stage at 5 to 10 o'clock. You have to kind of be here at 10 to because the MC goes up at 10 to Yeah. I'm like, I ha- someone has to make a decision here. Yeah. So I made a decision to go, I'm not coming. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to make it. Yeah. But I'll still get the flight over because I have the shows on a Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'm sitting up against the fucking window and a family got off, husband and wife, two kids get off. Kids are screaming. I want to, I think, I think we're going Legoland. Oh. Right? And the dad no, is not like, anymore, they're not. The dad is like, okay, 800 quid down the drain. And I was like, oh. Jesus. So I said to the cabin crew, what is the latest time I can get off this flight? Mm-hmm. And they said, you've got seven minutes or 10 minutes because we're closing. We're, we're going. We're locking up. We can't keep wheeling up steps to get you off, get, to get mm-hmm. people off. So I have 10 minutes now to make a decision. Do I go to London, miss my gig, stay in my hotel and perform on the Saturday? Do I, and that would be fine. I paid the hotel and everything. Do I get off, have the night at home and get a flight the following morning and go over and fucking do the shows mm-hmm. and then come back Sunday? And at this point, the guy near me was breathing. How oh, dare he? Like he was, he was just, <laughs> there was just a different, there was a, there was a breathing issue going on. And I went, I can't listen to that now. So I said, I need to get off. I was starting to get agitated. So my socks, my socks. Do you know the way you move your toes in your socks? Yeah. I started to get agitated. Yeah, because the guy breathed. No, but Did, it was did just, you say this to the air hostess? No, no, I just, man's just, <laughs> I guess man's breathing no. in my ear. I need off. He was off. behind me, he was behind me, right? I was like, Pando. fucking, I was just, I was, I was just fucking annoyed, you know? And I, spent, I, and, I and I felt a bit claustrophobic. What? I'd missed that joke. Was that a joke? I missed the joke. What did he say? You went, he's behind me, he's behind me. And I went, oh, you're in a panto. And, and you just kept going. This is the Baja man thing all over again. Oh, no, he isn't. Oh, yeah. So what Class. happened then was, I said to Stop the cabin crew. Stop hitting the desk. All right, I said to the cabin crew, I said, can I uh, get off the plane? And everyone started looking at me. Now I'm sitting down in the back. And I go, yeah. And by the way, people will know you as well. Oh, people will tell me about point, like, be like, uh, by the way, that's almost fucking cool. By the way, I'm just I, sitting there saying, could, never meet your heroes. It's cool because imagine, like, this is like getting to see Mick Jagger rehearse. I, this is like, you know what I mean? Like, well, I'm on a phone. We're watching Andrew Ryan get in trouble. I'm on a phone. Going, I don't think I can make the gig. Yeah, but I, if we don't land till 10 past nine, and the guy's next to me, the guy next to me is very nice. And he's yeah. like, oh, fucking. I go, man, I, you need to get something to cover me, man. Darth Vader you in your ear. Some, I'm like doing all this. And I just go, excuse me, sorry. Yeah, can I get off? And then, and then the two people have to get off. And then everyone's like, oh, someone else is getting off. So then I walk up to the front of the plane, right? And this is where your auntie came in. They were like, you getting off, all right? Is this the only luggage you have? Because, yeah, okay. Uh, what seat number are you at? Because they have to do something for fucking, whatever, insurance reasons or something. Uh, oh, it'll be two minutes before they wheel the steps in. Swiss port, bring the steps in, right? And then all I hear is, Henri, you going to miss your gig? <laughs> and I just went, yeah. <laughs> well, Anna, what's the crack? Oh, and yes. Go, and then my phone pings and there's people taking pictures of me Sending them to him, and then he's forwarding them on to me, and I'm just sitting there going, oh, for fuck's sake. I sent it to him going, calm down, Andrew. Yeah. Just, just calm down. So now. I get off the flight, and I get home, and it was piss and rain Friday night, and I, yeah. and this is a much more, I wasn't paying the fuckers for the cab home. I walked from Belfast City Airport to my house. You walked from here out in the rain? Yeah, I walked. Oh, Andrew, no. I wasn't paying a taxi. Oh, no. I was like, no, I'm not giving them my money. I'm oh, not giving them my money. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. <laughs> so the comedy club got a replacement. They got, they got one of the lads in the comedy store to come yeah. down, which is fine. I go home. I order Chinese. Good. Right? No, and I nice. covered in rain. Right, Julie comes in. Julie Soaking comes in. like broke back mountain. Julie comes home and we're sitting down with, and she goes, What the fuck? And I went, I know what the fuck, don't fucking. So I go on, go on the next day for the flights. Sure. Do you know what's like booking a flight tonight? Didn't the cost of booking a flight oh, the before? I imagine right? hundreds. So I would have had to get up a half five to get a flight for £118 to Luton. And I was like, Fuck that. No. So I said, I'll sleep on it. Woke up the following morning and I went, You know what? 14 years as a stand-up comedian. This is the first time this has ever happened to me. Mm-hmm. This is the fourth time I've ever had to cancel shows within... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rang the comedy clubs, told them what we're done. They went, Andrew, don't worry about it, man. 
you've had a shit weekend. Yeah. Obviously, blah, 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 blah. Took the weekend off without Saturday night, got pissed. Good. There you That's go. And I've taken, ending. just so you guys all know, the claim has gone into EasyJet. <laughs> I've claimed for the flight. I've claimed from a hotel. Loss of earnings. Emotional damage. <laughs> stress. Can I claim I'm for actually, emotional damage? I'm actually, claiming for last emotional, I'm actually claiming for emotions. Yeah. No, they're not going to give it that to you. That you don't have. They're not, they're not, <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, You're not going to give it to me, but it's a bit of crack. Mm. But it's a bit of crack. Yeah. It's what will crack. they give you? So let's let's unveil. What, what will you get? So back I'm getting from 225 this? pound for the flight. Okay. Okay. I'm also going to claim the 90 pound for the hotel. Will you get that? No, but I'm going to keep fighting for it. Okay. I'll ask for it maybe 40. Persistence I'm is 40. Key. I'll probably get about 45. If you quid. stay on them, they. Yeah. I'll probably get about 45 pounds. Okay. Yeah. okay. Oh, hey, Lauren. Mm. Oh, hey, the, you don't need this guy. You don't know me. Like. You need to, the, the, this this oh, guy's the guy. I'm the, oh, he's okay. the Martin Lewis of getting money Do back. Do you know Ireland, the amount of people that DM me about flights? People ask about, him for advice, and I like people. Say, I send him the form. Do this. You do that. You mm-hmm. do this. And you do that. That's how you get your money. I once claimed uh, money off council for a pothole, and I won. He got a pothole mm-hmm. money. It obviously didn't help. Okay, I ain't afraid. It. I ain't afraid. Do you know if the council go and put a draw around it? then you can't claim against it. Why is as that? long as they draw around it. So that you've them seen... being like, we are aware there is a pothole here. We are mm. putting a yellow line around it to make you aware there's one. But mm. also it's a signal to tell you that we are aware that it's here and it will be fixed. Mm-hmm. So they're, they're telling you like, it's on the system to be fixed. Yeah. Mm. But, but you, you know whenever claim... you just don't see it. How did you know that? Um, Because it happened to, to someone. You? No, not to me. Right. And then they were just kept going on about the orange circle like if I didn't see the freaking pothole I was just the freaking orange circle did you crash into it did no into it? it wasn't me it wasn't you have you ever had a car accident no well I did I crashed my car but not with another person good that's yeah. good a cat ran out in front of it and I oh. thought it was a person and swerved what mm-hmm. oh my god hold on yeah. there's a lot a to cat. unpack there's here there's a lot to unpack here let's see. <laughs> a cat <laughs> ran in front of my car it was a person. and I thought it was a person the smallest person, person in the world did you yeah, just no. come out of the movie Cats many, by Andrew Lloyd Webber and we're like oh fuckers one of them how many people do you know have four legs I've been working <laughs> I've and been move working like a really that. Early shift in the co-op way back in the day. The I was shop. dropping my sister over to the ice bowl for a bit of ice skating. <laughs> I was absolutely shattered, and I was on the like back hills from Dundonald. And I turned a corner, and as I turned the corner, I just saw a flash okay, of a thing. Enough. One of those cat people. And then people. I just went <gasps> and like just yeeted my car into a bush. Oh wow! And then this ignorant man drove past me. He was like, "You were going too fast anyway," and then kept driving. Are you fucking right? serious. Five minutes later, I'm sitting there being like, "What the fuck did I do?" Because my car was like wedged up this kind of like wow little like bank at the side of the road. Next thing, three smicks, roll around the corner. You in trouble, love? Yes. No, no. This is where I park it every day. You <laughs> the, piece of the shit. The smicks are always there to Pushed help. Pushed my car down. They were like, if you bind your head, anything. I was like, no, 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 I'm fine. He goes, tell you what, I'll jump in and drive your car home. The lads will follow me. We'll get. We'll, we need to make sure you get home if you've bound your head. And these three legends fucking help me. Oh, home. brilliant! God bless the Smex. Yeah. Yeah. Smex get a bad so name, but see, bad but see when you have car troubles, Smex are over you. Yeah. Smex are the two furries of cars. Yeah. Can I ask you, did you, did you get to, about an hour or two later? Did you get the shakes? No. Because your body would have been in shock, and you needed sugar, maybe. That nah, okay. she's shit. Lauren's chill as fuck, dude. <laughs> she'd probably go home and just give Nothing. me a fucking... <laughs> she fucking... The smicks were shaking, never mind. The they, yeah. They'll fight with her. She I, went yeah, yeah, yeah. The only thing that happened was like the under bumper fell off. Right. Was it? I wrote my car off in my house in a state. Oh, dear. Yourself? I wrote the whole thing off. Yeah, how'd you do that? Yeah. On ice. Black ice. Oh. Fucking you were... Drove it into a telephone pole, you know, the big poles. Eesh. And wrote the whole thing off. And uh, uh, I... T- Anyway, eventually got the car onto the driveway. Bet you claimed off the telephone pole. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, that pole should not have been there. If there's one guy that did it's it, it's definitely you. Did. Well, let me just tell you this. Uh, BT are not servicing that. <laughs> because yeah. they are out of business. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to look after yourself. I tell yeah. you. Um, I crashed my car into the pole and then I got the car up and obviously I was in shock. Shock, And I'd go and get a sweeping brush and I walked all the way back down. I was just sweeping up my own glass because I didn't want anyone else to fall That's or slip. Because nice, yeah. I'm a concerned member. Of course. Concerned yeah, citizen. Yeah, 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 concerned yeah. citizen, you know. You woke up in good faith. You've been in a car accident. Uh, I had a guy crash into the back of me. Uh, that, that's about it. I've never, that's been the only one, yeah. Yeah, that and, yeah it, was, it was a weird one. Like. Yeah. Mm. When you go to the Philippines, uh, be careful out there as well in the mopeds and stuff, you mm. know. Always like wear a helmet. Like. Yeah. Always wear a helmet and don't, I feel like, 
fucking be fucking no. like, yeah, yeah, use both cross your arms now I feel like I'm getting a letter I'm not, from no, I, no, no, I'm a want... cool guy Lauren I'm not fucking like him <laughs> Lauren I need you to have a good time and be safe yeah, out there I will don't take any, don't, you know what I mean because like, like fucking it's difficult enough being a woman fucking going out like yeah. Do you know what I mean? If anyone hands you a pill, you take it. That's what, that's what I always <laughs> yeah. say. It just always if anyone does. buys you a drink, tell them to buy it too. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You know exactly. I mean? Don't look at any drink you're drinking. Just go with the flow. Just is go what with I the would flow. say. You know what I mean? Yeah. Eat the spider on a stick. I'm yeah. like, I am excited to try that. The Especially, spider on a stick? I don't, yeah. I don't is it not think a scorpion? I'll eat it. No, but yeah, there is scorpions, but that's seen, not. I mean, that's yeah. like eating to like a shrimp or something. Surely that would look pretty nice. I think scorpions and shrimps are a wee bit different. <laughs> so it's like a wee shelled creature. Like, it's not as... I can just imagine a big, like, fuck-off spider. Racist. Absolutely it. racist. Against yeah. creatures, against shelled creatures. <laughs> the, the... No. Eating shelled things is kind of normal. Yeah. Just that, you know? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, You're a big comedy fan, aren't you? Yeah, I love it. So talk to me about how you got into comedy. Who's your favourite? Who's your favourite? Oh. Uh, you don't have to pick. Nah, you don't, don't have to pick because we know it's me. <laughs> yeah, the, it's no big deal. Yeah, how the, did com- I get comedy? Comedy is subjective, Aaron. It is, and that's why it doesn't I'm matter. There's no favourites. There's absolutely I like to laugh. Does yeah, but who? Like, so, uh, who? You, you, Peter K. Wow. So my dad is basically like Peter a walking, K. talking <laughs> Peter K. Like, oh, yeah? He picked up all of his mannerisms. He's the same kind of shape. But, mm. like, Loves garlic bread. Yeah, yeah so... Yeah. Like I, that was just a natural part of dinner every day. If there was garlic bread on the table, yeah, it's a good, that's a good, that's a good working. That yeah. But you go to a lot of live shows, do you? Yeah, uh, not more local ones. Like I would go see you guys quite a lot. But what only... clubs have you been to? Empire, Empire and, and Laveries. So good, good clubs. Good. Yeah. Good. But yeah, do you ever think about doing it? No. Because you're you're very confident in front of a camera and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Because I always thought you'd be good on radio and stuff. Yeah. Because obviously you're very confident, like in when when the camera goes on and stuff like that. Is that something that maybe when you come back from Australia you probably look into? Probably. Like it's definitely. I didn't think I was into it all until I started doing it with the bikes. Mm. And then one day I was just like, get the bug. And how do you feel yeah. when you're doing stuff like that and you're looking back and say, obviously it's a bit awkward to love yourself, but like, yeah, I don't really you're very care. Judge, you're very judgmental. Most people, like, I can be very judgmental mm. about me as well. Like, you know, but I, I mean, it, that's my face, you know. It's going to look like hey, that. Hey, that's a great, that's a great. Yeah. That's my that's face. That's a great way like of looking at it. If it's offensive, just don't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> do you think your face is offensive to Maybe, people? Yeah, like, some people, we subjective. get some funny ass comments. Oh, right? yeah, 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 yeah. See some um, stuff. Aaron gets. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, From myself. Our work, you <laughs> yeah. know, because they said right, you're customer facing and like your face is out there. You know, if you feel like you need to talk, there's an HR chat thing that we can go and say like, look, I'm having a tough time with the comments. Like, there's yeah, people, yeah, yeah. but these that's good. They're that you have the that. funniest things. Like, it just it just makes me laugh. Like, yeah, there's a block button for someone. A as well. Yeah, someone found me on my own personal Instagram to send me a message and went, please stop doing the videos. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. Oh. And he was like 12, and I was like, that's enough internet for one day. Oh. Buddy, oh, put your phone down. He was 12. Yeah, he was just such a wee kid. Like, yeah. it's just funny. And then I fell and someone wrote, someone wrote. In a video? Like, I fell off my bike in a video and a guy commented, oh, great, another woman-sized creator left in the earth. I was like, what? That's a guy with a lot of issues, I would say. That's a guy yeah. that lives alone with his mom. Yeah. With his I think that was Russell Brown. He's in a basement somewhere. The, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's more of a, I always say, like, it is a reflection on them. Yeah. Like, there's a block button for a reason. Mm-hmm. And, like, you got to understand is that you're doing something if you're putting content out there and i've we've, we've talked about this loads of times there's room for everybody in the world mm-hmm. there's room for every type of person presenter bikes comedy whatever it is you're into there's room for everybody and people just need to find what they like and mm-hmm. if if you if you're watching something and you don't like something and you take time out of your day to send that person a message you are the biggest fucking loser yeah going yeah and i think i think uh and people are right to comment if they want to comment it's none of my business but I just have just I, I felt at one point I was gonna whenever I posted clips on socials and you might agree with me and you might dis- disagree with me, I was gonna turn comments off on everything. Mm. If you really hate me that much, you have to send me an email. Mm. Do you know um, what I mean? Like, you get people and, like and, and seventy-five p on PayPal just to be like, Fuck yeah, you. But, <laughs> <laughs> that is a good troll. But apparently, uh, Twitter is going to be charged now. I'll not go near it if it is. Imagine, I don't use Twitter. Money to be like that. It is the most boring social bullshit. media platform. Oh, ever. I have an opinion. Fuck off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. literally. So, uh, Lauren, you're you're now. What's happening with the job? I'm leaving. I've only got less than a month left. I've had to get a new presenter. There. Hey guys. <laughs> 
Chain reaction bags with yeah. Andrew and I. You want to go cycling? Mm-hmm. Buy the bike. Money. Yeah, we Give love us it. money. Look we love the, the Lorne Mountains. It has handles. Or go. Like that. You can go yeah. left if you move left. Like that. You can See? go right if you move right. You're welcome. Yeah. Hired? Look at that. That's, that's, how, easy. that's how easy it is. Yeah. Lorne, job's a gift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know what their plan is, to be honest. I don't know mm. if they're going to... Zoom you in for they it. They told me that <laughs> they're not going to replace me in the place, but I think they're going to like try and get people that are out riding bikes to do stuff for them. And yeah. Just, like, but I don't know. I mean, they're like keeping it from me because I'm an emotional wreck about leaving. Like I absolutely love the place. So. Yeah, you're very sad about leaving. Yeah, like I cried handing in my notice, and I like the most emotionless person ever, and I don't cry very often. And I walked in to hand in my notice, and I just went. <laughs> and my manager was like. <laughs> I do that every day. Yeah, but you're going off that. You're going off to. But you're going off to have a bit of laugh and a bit of fun. You're, you know. I'll be five months in there. Yeah. Yeah, but like, look, you've you've got. I'm not gonna cry in the Philippines, like. Yeah, but you've got like you've got like what well, no responsibilities. Go fucking live know, your life. Go like, and live your I'm life. I'm just home from France, and it gave me like a little taste test of what life's gonna be like, and it was mm. just waking up, coffee at nine, mm-hmm. like taking a wee walk. Then beer, 10 a.m. on the beers. <laughs> Lauren, I think you have a problem. I, think, I don't know if we can... Lying I think by the river. I think Lauren's going off to secretly <laughs> drink. Dipping in the river. Lauren's an Do you alcoholic. ever play Dobble? What's Dobble? Oh, it's a the game. The literal so best game to ever exist. What is that? It's like play basically it? snap with little pictures on it. And yes. there's a picture that matches every card. So there's a card in the middle and then there's like, say, like a hammer on it and a hand and a bird or whatever. And then you have to say what you have and throw it down. We just play that for like six hours a day. In France? Yeah. I mean, six hours is excessive. And I don't think I could do anything for six hours a day. One of the guys there was teaching me magic tricks, so I'm going to be a hit. Yeah? You know? Do you know any magic tricks then? I know, I know. What, what, what trick do you know? I can't tell you. Oh, you don't have to tell me. You, you can just exp- never exp- fucking make that disappear. No, we already did that. It was like a <laughs> bottle cap thing. Honestly, it took me like... Is I it I where you do that it. and it disappears? No. Okay. Is it a French drop? No. Okay. I don't know the name of it. Well, you're not doing very well with this magic thing <laughs> if I'm telling you better names. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, well. Listen, Lauren, have a great time. Thank you. We wish you the very best and thanks, thanks for coming so on to the podcast. We wish you well. And uh, good luck with everything that you do over in Australia, over in the Philippines. Hopefully, we'll we'll see you again I, when you come back. Hopefully. hopefully. You're back in May anyway for the wedding. I'm back you in You have to go to this wedding. So, you, so yeah. you go in October and you're back in May and then I suppose you'll make a decision yeah. what you're going to do then. No, I'm leaving again. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to Vietnam in like August time. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. It's a whole, the story there. unfolds. Fucking Come story back unfolds. for part two, guys. Come back for part two. We'll have her, we'll have her back in next year. Yeah. yeah. Just right. a tethered version of myself. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen things. Yeah. Well, Lauren, thanks very much for coming in. Yeah, Aaron. Thanks, Emil. Gurmil Malgut. Ah, yes, led the whole. Gurmil, you speak Osquelga, don't you? Excuse me. Irish. No, she's from the East. I'm from the East. Oh, she sure. is. Yeah. <laughs> Cover your ears here. Now. Uh, burn up. Uh, thanks very much, everybody, for tuning into Cork and the Raw podcast this week. Uh, please do sign up to the Patreon. It really does help and support the future of this podcast. Um, you know, it is good that you do that because we need you. <laughs> we need you to do the to do that thing. Um, so yeah. Um, much much. Appreciate. I don't know why I'm doing this. I think I'm just trying. I think do you know what? It's the cringiness of trying to let Andrew finish. I'm just like yeah. shelling up. Anyway, I'm like, I know, but I'm deliberately making this awkward. That's the whole fucking point. I know we you're are. I know we it. are. I know, but you're nailing it. You're doing it too good. I know. Anyway, listen. Thanks very much, everybody. We'll see you next week. Cheers. Yay.